Stepping into it, your footsteps was clearly a big thing. But it, you have to, and I'm sure, goodness gracious, it was worse for you under both the circumstances mm. and with Jeff, I think. It was, you have to own it after a bit. You can't sort of slightly cringe under the shadow of your predecessor, however loved and revered they were. You have to, quite early on, you have to say, well, actually, I'm doing this now. Mm. Yeah. yeah, you're right, it was hard because Jeff Hamilton and I were mates anyway. We knew one another. Jeff had decided after, I think 14 years, it was a long time he'd done it, that he wanted just to do specials. He said, when do you want to take over? And I said, when do you want to go? You know, yeah. he, told, he said, what about next Easter? So I said, fine, that's okay by me. So this is June, yeah. and I was going to take over the next April. He died in the August. Mm. And that was hard because I was finishing off his series and there were various, oh, look who's come, you know, yeah. this kind of thing. And you're always going to get that when somebody's really made a programme their own. And so I did those six and got my head down, gone on with it. And then when the next year started, exactly as you said, look, it's me now. I'm doing it my way. I can only be me. I hope you like it. I remember I got a phone call from then the head of BBC Two. I had no idea you were stopping. I genuinely had not an inkling. And they said, well, you know, would you, would you consider it? And as I, was, I thought, for all of a millisecond, it's the best job. Do you not know why? <laughs> <laughs> I was asked when I left who I would recommend. Did you? Well, that's and the I first said, time. you need someone who can chair a meeting. You need an anchor man. This is absolutely true. You need an anchor man. And I said, well, I think your best bet's Monty Dunn. Well, there you are. I'm very glad to hear that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>